Is there any one particular event or race or person or anything, anything you are looking forward to McGee and Pat, um, you know, next week when this thing starts to kick off? Pat, you want me to go ahead? I, I, yeah. I, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll go next. Well, I think one for me, obviously the, the, probably the big storyline on the men's side is I really, I want to see, I want to see Caleb Dressel. I, I want to see, Man, I want to see him back so, so badly. I, I cheer so much for that kid. He's such a, a classy kid, such a, a great young man. I guess we can't really call him a kid anymore. He's, he's got his dad. own kid. <laughs> but, you know, I, I want to see I, I want to see him succeed and, and do do it kind of his way. That 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 that's my thing for the men. But for the women, man, the list, I, I want to see Gretchen Walsh translate the long course. You know, because I'm going to tell you what, if she can pull that off, holy cow. Like, mm. the, I mean, the stuff that the stuff that some of the ladies did short course at, at NCAAs this year mm. just got me fired up for the Olympic year. Seeing that translate to long course, I think um, Reagan Smith with the American record in the 100 backstroke just, what, a week ago. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm, I want to see how this leads into that. And then, you know, for, for me as a coach, I, you know, the, the old coaching side of me is still going, okay, so if we're X number of days out from Olympic trials and then we've got X number of days till the Olympics kicks off, you know, where would they be in a training phase? I wonder what they're doing right now. You know, just that, that analytical side of things. But I think there's, there's so many great, I think the, the, the women have a lot of opportunities to, to, to really kind of set the world on fire uh, if they can translate this over to, to long course. And that's always been a question. You, you've got, I think, great leadership from Ledecky, um, who who she is, who she is. I mean, we we know she's going to be great, but she's going to have some races. You know, I don't. It's definitely not as clear cut as it has been in the past, and so I think that's going to be a lot of fun to watch. But um, to me, it, it's just one of those things. And uh, I I went through this with 2021, but uh, one of the coolest things for me now is I get I, I watch it with my daughter. You know, we we. I never could do that. Right. Like I never had the opportunity to do that. And my youngest daughter, who is uh, she is the self-proclaimed biggest swim nerd on the planet. She doesn't mind me calling her that. But, um, you know, she 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 loves it. And so I get to spend I can spend time watching this and talking about the races and what with with my daughter, which is really cool. But um, from from a storyline standpoint, the standpoint, I think there's a ton of things to watch for on the women's side. I really want to see some of the guys shine through. Um and I'm I'm anxious to see some of the new guys pop up. I mean, there's some young guys that are going to come into the mix that are going to be great. So that's where I am. Yeah, Pat, what are you thinking? Well, shoot, I, I sent a list of literally 22 story ideas to my editor the other day. Mm. So I've, I've got a lot, but I will keep it just just a couple things. To me, um, I agree with McGee. I think the women are set for some really big performances and then some great showdowns in Paris with the Australian women mm. and uh, and otherwise. Um, I, Kate Douglas, I think is, you know, she's, she was so great last year. Um, but I, you know, Olympics is a different deal. I think she's ready to blow up and they've got her biggest, bigger than life on the side of Lucas yeah. stadium right now, not Ledecky, yeah. not Dressel. They've got Kate Douglas up there. And I think that shows some of the expectation in her, um, the women's Hunter butterfly, Hunter freestyle, Hunter backstroke, you know, Reagan Smith, I think is going to dominate the backstrokes and then she's going to face McEwen and it's going to be awesome. Mm. But, who else is, gets in there with her in the backstrokes? But then the, the 100 fly, is, is it Tori Husk? Is it Gretchen Walsh? Who else is involved in there? And then the 100 free, just to make that relay. It's going to be a gun show. Yeah. It's going to be yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree with all that stuff. You know, I think I think that's there's going to be some – look, the U.S. team is such, uh, you know, a nail-biter to try and make this thing. You know, it's like two people? How do you pick two? Like, it's just too many. Too many. It's too, too, too much depth. Um, I'll tell you this. I don't know who's winning. I don't know who's winning or finishing second in the men's hundred breast. I have no idea. You know, men's hundred breast to me right now is wide open. Does Michael Andrew show up and take that thing? Does Michael Andrew finish 10th and not make the final? I don't know. It's like, <laughs> who knows what's going on there. And that'll be an interesting storyline too, to see yeah. how Michael Andrew actually, um, you know, goes through the meet and, and works his way into this thing. And, and then eventually, Gets his name on it. Look, look, his his freestyle fifty free is super competitive. The hundred flies super competitive. 
100 breasts, like I said, it's a toss-up. I have no idea how he's going to go or where, or where that's going to go. Um, so it'll be interesting to see the Michael Andrews story play out and, and if he makes this team or not, you know. Um, but, yeah, the, it, look, it's just pressure-packed. And I think the, the people that have been there and done that before have a clear advantage in a situation like this where you, where you are walking into a stadium. Um, but, yeah, the, the U.S., it's always someone that pops up and you have no idea who they are, where they came from, but they have this magic performance and, and off they go. So, uh, But, look, the Australian trials happen actually – right before the U.S. trial. So we're going to have this head-to-head -head between the Aussies and then the Americans just going at it. You know, the Aussies will post a time, the Americans will come back and post a time, and then it's going to be this massive build-up, especially on the women's side because they're so stacked on each side in the next three weeks.